laboratory are about to test one of Mythbusters' biggest stories ever. All right, looks like they're over the X. Yeah, looks good. And here's Grant with the lowdown on their high-flying car drop experiment. So this is the main event. This is the final experiment. And here is the setup. I will be in the small helicopter controlling the driving car with a remote control link and a remote video link. Must be a name. Tori will be in the chopper with me, pointing the directional receiver antenna at the car at all times. We'll chase the car down the track as I drive towards the start line. Hit the start line at our top speed of 105 miles an hour. At the same time, Carrie will be in the big chopper, hauling the drop car over to the drop zone. Okay, we're at 4,000 feet and directly above the target zone, ready for the drop. When we hit the start line, she'll be over the X, she'll release the car, and then we'll see which one gets to the target first. And so, with everyone in position, the countdown to counting backwards begins. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Car is away. Car is away. What speed, Grant? 45. 45 miles an hour. Looking good. 60 miles an hour. The stress and practice from yesterday seems to be paying off. 70. Looking great. Grant and Tori are keeping the car on track, and they're picking up speed nicely. We're coming into view, Grant. I can see you guys down there. 80. Car's looking good. We're going straight for the X. is on. before the driving car crossed the target. And despite being back on the ground, it's quite obvious the team's adrenaline levels are still sky high. Okay, I'm not gonna say, like Luke down the Death Star Trench. You drove across the freaking X! Thank you! But it was like Luke down the Death Star Trench until the X comes on. Yeah! Here it comes. We're in the fall helicopter, the car is going, we're trying to get up to speed. I'm like, Grant, how fast are we going out? We're at 40 miles an hour. How fast are we now? 60 miles an hour. We have to get up to 105. The mark is getting closer. We get up to like 90, or maybe about 1,000 feet away. We get to 105 miles an hour, we hit the mark, the car's released, and I can see the car falling, and I can see the car driving, and then all of a sudden it was like, boom, the car falling hits, and then Grant's car goes over the X. We did it. I was less excited after my first kiss. So aside from denting the ego of Carrie's first boyfriend, you could say this experiment went spectacularly well. That's what happens when you drop a car from a helicopter and try to beat it with a car on the ground. Look at this, the rim is detached from the tire. <laughs> and the tire's still standing. And all that's left to do is head on back to the shop for a rundown of the breakdown. If we didn't wreck all the cars, we wouldn't have to walk home. That's <laughs> true. Do you have enough water to make it after that mountain? No. We'll be dead before we even get to the mountain. Okay, so I don't...